know, I will not, I will not be bullied <laughs> into, into, into playing a game that, that killed my mum. I never thought that this would be easy, but I thought it would be fair. And also, thank you for asking, because not many people have asked if I'm okay. But it's, um, it's a very real thing to be going through behind the scenes. I've gone to this continent, which is poverty-stricken, and they both give interviews all about them and the problems that they are facing as multi-millionaire privileged members of the royal family. Others were more sympathetic. I think it takes a heart of steel to watch Meghan in that interview and not feel some sympathy for her. Harry and Meghan's struggles were met by royal silence and some say their public comments were passive aggressive. That seemed to me to be a very thinly veiled shot at the royal family, that people were not coming to her and saying, hey, how's this going for you? Can we help in some way? It's not enough to just survive something, right? Like, that's not the point of life. I think at that point, she had kind of said, you don't much care about how this is affecting me, so I'm not going to care too much about how I'm affecting you. A plan was being carefully crafted for some time in the future. But earlier this month, something happened that turned everything upside down. What they hadn't counted on was the sun leaking their plans, was the sun blowing everything out of the water. They knew that once this news came out, it was going to be massive. Harry and Meghan decided to beat the Sun newspaper to the punch and make the announcement themselves. Problem is, they blindsided their fellow royals, including the Queen. The Queen was incredibly hurt um, by how Harry and Meghan went about this. The way it happened has caused a lot of pain, a lot of anguish behind the scenes. And yes, I was told that, that privately, the Queen has been devastated, heartbroken by this. I think he's deeply regretted his actions since. Our sources say the Queen pleaded with Harry and Meghan, but especially Harry, to reconsider. But he wasn't having it, and in the end, there was nothing she could do. The Queen has given them license to go off and have their cake and eat it, and I think she's going to eat more cake than we've seen since Marie Antoinette. Meghan and Harry checkmated the Queen into this situation. But others say Harry had no choice. If you try to have divided loyalties, that doesn't work. I mean, if, if you're saying, okay, my first loyalty goes to the monarchy here and my duties there, my second priority is my spouse, my children, my family, I don't care where you live or what the structure is, that's not the natural order of things. And certainly if you're coming from outside that system, that's gonna be real uncomfortable for Megan, right? 